So I just wanted to hop on and make a quick video talking about a brand new Tudor discovery that has been announced today. So the curators at Hever Castle, Ali Palmer, Owen Emerson and Kate McCaffrey have announced that they have discovered Thomas Cromwell's Book of Hours. Now, this isn't a completely new discovery of uh, something that had never been seen before. Uh, this book of ours has been known about, it's been in the archives at Trinity College in Cambridge, but they are the first people to have joined up the dots and determined that this is in fact Thomas Cromwell's book of hours that we see in his portrait by Holbein on the table in front of him and they've managed to trace how it ended up at Trinity College by being passed first to Ralph Sadler and then through the Sadler family until the 17th century when it was donated to the college. Now obviously it's absolutely fabulous to have uh, found a providence for this book of hours and to have linked it to the portrait of Holbein and with Cromwell himself. But there's actually another interesting facet to this discovery. So they didn't actually set out to locate Cromwell's book of hours. Uh, it was discovered during the process of doing some research into a book of hours belonging to Anne Boleyn which is at Hever Castle, and Kate McCaffrey has been researching this book for a while, and they were looking for other books uh, from the same print run, and they discovered one which belonged to Catherine of Aragon, which has been on display at Hever Castle, uh, but is now going back to America, uh, which is where it is normally to be found, and they were looking for a replacement, and for their exhibition and this book in Trinity College Cambridge was from the same print run uh, and it was whilst looking into it that they found the connection to Thomas Cromwell. So the interesting thing here is that we now know that Anne Boleyn, Catherine of Aragon and Thomas Cromwell all owned a copy of the same book of hours and from exactly the same print run. And that's interesting because we tend to think of those three figures in opposition to each other. So uh, Anne Boleyn replaces Catherine of Aragon in Henry VIII's affections and as Queen of England. Thomas Cromwell is the architect of uh, the divorce uh, and the split from Rome. And then Thomas Cromwell is also involved in bringing about the downfall of Anne Boleyn. And it's very easy to think of them as diametrically opposed to each other, particularly Thomas Cromwell and Anne Boleyn versus Catherine of Aragon. But when we think of them like that, we're kind of forgetting that for all their differences, which emerge later in their life, actually, these are people who are operating in the same Tudor court, uh, you know, they might have religious differences in what they believe, but in the 1520s, when this book is printed, they will be going to worship uh, at court, uh, at the same services, probably together, at the royal chapels. Um, they have some of the same religious experiences, they're interacting with the same people, they are engaging in the same process of sort of seeking favour with other people, exchanging gifts, petitioning powerful people, and this book really just brings home to us that for all their differences, uh, these three people own the same book, and they both both, all three of them now, uh, valued the book enough that uh, they've survived, uh, they wrote in them, they gave, passed them on to other people, um, and they treasured them. The fact that Cromwell's book in it appears in his portrait shows how important it was to him. And so we now have this sort of point of um, commonality between these three figures that we don't normally associate with each other and that's really interesting and I think is going to lead uh, sort of to possibilities of more research into uh, where these books have come from, were the three of them gifted them, who gifted it to them, there's lots of interesting potential uh, there to follow up and I'm sure that uh, the guys at Hever Castle will be looking into that. Uh, they've already written uh, a book 
uh, on the discovery of Cromwell's Book of Hours, which you can buy from the Heber Castle uh, shop. And they've also got an uh, existing book on uh, Catherine of Aragon's Book of Hours and Anne Boleyn as part of their Catherine and Anne exhibition. And if you want to go and see Cromwell's book, now that we know that it's Tom Thomas Cromwell's Book of Hours, then the exhibition is going to be running until early November, I believe, and it is now going to be on display there alongside uh, Anne Boleyn's Book of Hours for the rest of the exhibition. So definitely worth going to have a look at, particularly as unlike uh, Anne Boleyn's Book of Hours, it's still in its original jewelled binding. That was how they were able to spot that it was the one from the portrait. So a stunning piece of art, uh, as well as an interesting bit of history.